Hey everyone, Fez here from Crypto Setups. Today I'm going to show you a chain called Stacks. Now Stacks is what enables smart contracts on Bitcoin. So it's, you could say a layer two, but it's not really. Uh, but essentially it creates a platform that allows applications to be built and deployed, but it gets its security from Bitcoin. I think that covers it. So this tutorial, what I'm going to break down is how you can actually get access to the STX token, because what's really cool about the way this has been built is you can acquire the STX token and lock it per cycles. And when you lock it, you actually earn BTC. So the minor rewards that there's a, a consensus mechanism that's designed and part of you locking your STX is you earning BTC and it's not wrapped BTC or anything like that. It is real BTC that gets sent to your BTC address. So this tutorial, I'm going to show you how all that works. Now, as always, not financial advice. These videos are strictly for educational purposes only. With that said, now let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing you need is something called the Xverse wallet. Now, this type of wallet is very similar to MetaMask. So essentially, think of MetaMask, but for Bitcoin, this Xverse wallet, it will give you a Bitcoin address and your Stacks uh, address as well. So, um, and you can see over here, what's cool about this wallet is it enables quite a lot of different things. But in this tutorial, I'm strictly gonna focus on setting up this wallet, and um, showing you how you can acquire stacks, which is often exchanged, so I won't show that process, but once you have your STX, how you can pick a pool and uh, uh, basically lock your STX and earn BTC. So let's dive into it. From the first page, you can see uh, once it's set up, you literally just click earn Bitcoin and it'll take you through the process. But first thing you wanna do is download and you have two options depending how you are as a user. I'm gonna do the extension for Chrome and just click on add to Chrome, add extension, and it should be there. Yep, the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna pin it, so it's there, great. Okay, then let's head over to, I'll just bring this back, and let's kickstart this process. If you already have, you can restore your wallet, but I wanna create a new wallet, so I'm gonna create a wallet and let's make this nice and big and you can see it's telling you that what you can manage with this wallet so we're going to hit next and it's saying stack your sdx to earn rewards which i'm going to show you how to do access your favorite dap so once you have this then any dapps that potentially launch you can use it just like you would metamask but now in the bitcoin world and over here is the legal aspect so the next step it's going to tell you is to back up your wallet now recommend you always back up right away and setting up don't don't leave this as a afterthought back up now for the purpose of this tutorial you're going to see the seed phrase however once it's set up i'm going to restore an old wallet uh, so that you can see how it works okay so i'm going to show the seed phrase now one of the things i noticed with this wallet is it doesn't hasn't created a simple copy function for you uh, so let's let's take this and I will save it. Great, I have made a copy of it. And you know, as usual, make sure it's not on cloud storage or any of that. Like if anyone gets a hold of the seed phrase, they will be able to access your funds. So uh, be very careful with this. I'm not spending too much time on this because I've done plenty of wallet tutorials covering this exact topic of wallet security. But uh, this gives access to anyone to your wallet if they get the C phrase. So no cloud storage, keep it offline somewhere. Write your C phrase. So now I will copy this back and paste it. Now you'll see I've just done a copy and paste. It won't, I, I'll actually have to um, get this all nice and neat. So let me do that. Great, there you go. I've added it back to confirm. And the next step is setting a password. So I'll set my password, confirm it and wallet has been created and it's telling make sure you've pinned it which i did earlier and i will close this tab now and i will click on my wallet and add my password 
Great, now what I've done is I have added my other wallet uh, so that I can show you it has some STX in it. So if you don't, make sure you send some STX to it. You can see as soon as you sign in, a bit of an overview about the wallet and the addresses and things like that. I'll take you through it now. So your wallet function, this is your Bitcoin, this is your STX. If you want to receive items, basically you can see in the wallet, you could start stacking if you want to, and the settings. And this is where you can adjust a few things, update your password, back up your wallet if you didn't do it the first time. Okay, and up here is how you can switch accounts or lock the wallet. So if you have a couple of accounts, you can switch between them. And you can manage tokens. So here is where you could uh, tick tokens that you want to look at uh, appear in your wallet if you have them. Okay, so that's the bit of an overview about the wallet. Now let's head straight into uh, stacking your STX so you can earn Bitcoin. And I'm going to actually just hit the start stacking in the wallet. And what you can see here is it has straight away taken me to the Xverse pool. And this is where I can start uh, get started to register for the next cycle to ensure my STX is locked and I earn Bitcoin from it. So you can see here, you've got five days for the registration for the upcoming cycle. And to kick off, if you hadn't already, it isn't connected, make sure you click on connect wallet, then click on start stacking and you'll enter this screen. Now in this screen, remember you do need 100 STX minimum to get started. If I said there is no minimum, apologies. Uh, there is a minimum, but this is probably one of the lowest minimums I've seen compared to some of the other pools that require 5,000, 50,000 STX. So I'm going to stick to the bare minimum and put 100 in there. And uh, other thing to make note of is that you do need STX for fees. So don't go all in, save a little bit for fees. Fees in STX are next to nothing. So don't worry about that. You don't need to leave much in your wallet. I'm going to click next. The next thing it's asking for is your BTC rewards address. Now, uh, here is where I will click on the wallet and you can see that you have the two tokens. This is Bitcoin, the actual Bitcoin address, not a wrapped version or anything like that. I'll click on BTC, I'll click on receive and here's the address I want. And I'm gonna hit copy. I understand it's giving me a warning that uh, this is not the address to use for ordinals or BRC20 tokens. And this is not the case, it is for Bitcoin. So I've grabbed that address, I've pasted it in here and we'll hit next. Okay, so the next step now is you've got to allow the contract. So let's click on that and approve the transaction. Straight away, we've got the confirmed. And then we got to confirm the delegation. So I've uh, got that 100 in there. Let's click confirm. And as soon as it's done, you can see straight away that it's telling you when the next cycle will start and it's pending delegation. It can take a few days. It should be done in a day. You'll notice that it will automatically be there. So from here, you can cancel, but you would want to if, if you wanted to. Now you'll, if at this point you cancel, you'll get your 100 STX right back into your wallet. Though keep in mind, there may be some delays there. So just be patient with it. I've noticed at times you can't still access it, even though it's in your wallet for like a couple of hours before um, things start working again. So and just, just a little tip of some of the challenges I faced. Now I'm going to show you another, I'm going to quickly switch to one of my other demonstrations wallet so that you can see what it looks like when you're um, actually in the cycle and it's locked and what's going on there. So let's take a look. Like I have a very tiny amount, 400 STX, and you can see this is mid cycle at the moment and I've got lovely 39 cents worth of BTC uh, waiting for me based on this at 9% obviously. And I believe what will happen is at the end of it, the end of the cycle, I will get my rewards and BTC will be in my wallet. I hope this has helped. Like a few things I just want to call out. When you're transferring your STX from your exchange to your wallet, it can take a bit of time. Like it could be 10 minutes, It may you may get it. And then after that still take a, 
hour or so, I had a lot of these issues transpire. Keep that in mind and be patient with it. Don't worry, your funds will come as long as you've used the right addresses for STX, you know, you use the one starting with SPC and then for BTC, use the Bitcoin address, okay? So there's just some delays there and, and just be cautious of it. That's it, everyone. So as usual, like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to jump in the comments and throw them at me. I will try to answer them. If I do know the answers and if I don't, I will look it up and try to find it for you. As always, take care, everyone. Bye.